Mr. Avinash Khar is engaged by IMTMA for seven years as head of Pune Technology Center, where he designs the content and delivers a number of training courses on industry. 4.0 automation, EV technology, vehicle light weighing, sheet metal forming technologies, and equipment. He has been coordinating international seminars on manufacturing technology. He is an electrical engineer and was associated with Tata Motors in various functions and has also been head of stamping die design as well as head of tool room shop pro. Today, Mr. Ravinash Khare will give us a brief view on advanced sheet forming technologies which have growth potential in it. Hot forming, incremental forming, sheet and tube hydro. So delegates, let's welcome Mr. Apinash. Thank you, Kritika. Advanced sheet forming technologies is a blind elephant. There are a number of technologies, depending on what you see, you can have the perception about different aspects in the sheet metal forming technology. So we'll run through them. The time is limited, we'll run rather fast, but uh, I'll give you an overview of what are the technologies. Basically, when you talk of advanced sheet forming technology and what is the scope of developing more than anything competence and confidence in India, there are three categories in which you can classify these almost 15, 16 technologies or maybe more. Category one are basically those technologies which have been there in India, which are there in India, not just into applications, but also there are manufacturers who are manufacturing the equipment, tools. There is a software ecosystem existing, yet there is a lot of scope for adding some advanced features, certain automation, refinements, and higher level of integration with other processes, and on the whole, expanding the range. So the these are the category one items. Category two are those technologies which basically exist in India with just about one or two suppliers. More or less, they are like monopoly houses and they are by far supplying to all OEMs. So as applications, we are there, but as equipment manufacturing, we are not there by far. So these are the category two technologies and category three are the technologies which are sparingly used in some niche applications there are no equipment manufacturing capability in India. However, there may be capability islands with some imported equipment in some defense or aerospace uh, manufacturing setups. Uh, those are basically elitist segments in manufacturing industry. So these are broadly the three categories in which I would classify these advanced sheet forming technologies. Let us talk of category one. In category one, we have cold stamping that is using the presses and uh, regular stamping dies. So manufacturing equipment would have presses, press lines, dies, automation of press line, use of inspection fixtures, progressive dies for small parts, and so on. Typical applications are automotive, aerospace, consumer durables, electrical, electronics, manufacturing of chassis, for example, manufacturing of chassis and uh, uh, utensils sometimes stainless steel sinks and wash basins, etc. Now, close on the heel of stamping. This is the most prevalent technology that is there in India. We will see what development scope is there on subsequent slide. But apart from that, there are cutting and bending of plain sheets, which are using press, press breaks, CNC punch press, sheet benders, roll benders, and the tools thereof. And these are largely used for making cabinets, boxes, things like reflector for tube lights, body for boiler, etc. So these are the second thing where it, they are used in a big way in India. There are some equipment manufacturers, yet there is scope for refinement. And then we have uh, forming using tubes, tube bending, tube cutting, tube and forming, tube laser cutting. We can have uh, tube bending machines, hydraulic as well as servo based. They are used for making tubular structures for furniture, for construction, for two wheeler frames, bikes, railings in buildings, etc tubes for boilers, process industry piping and tubing, etc. Then we have laser cutting, which is present in India in a quite a big way, I would say by now, uh, which uses laser sources, robots, either Cartesian or uh, uh, articulating arm type robo, uh, along with the accessories, flying optics, optic fiber, using accessories like gas manifolds, nozzles, gap sensor, and so on. They are used extensively for automotive sheet parts, for fabrication plate cutting, cutting thick plates, even cutting the inserts for uh, cutters, for example, and even stands for the heart implant. Uh, then we have, of course, common technologies of welding, like TIG welding, big welding, which are used for sheet welding purposes. So there, of course, you have welding equipment, some weld positioners and robots and they are used for thicker sheets for structural parts. Then you have spot welding, which is used for body in white part for automotive. They largely use spot welding guns and robots 
and then in utensil sector there is a spinning technology there are spinning machines and spinning tools they are used for making reflectors for bulbs and utensils and dish forming for boilers and things like that so now coming to cold stamping these are some pictures sorry i could not accommodate all the pictures because there are so many technologies but what is lacking what we have to catch up with is use of advanced high strength steel and specifically the presses which are designed to press advanced high strength steel we are using ahss but then those are be, those are being used on older presses which were not designed for ahss pressing now that is one scope then use of tailor welded blanks it's already happening but not so much in a bigger way as it should be then we have to have automation now if you increase the automation speed the part starts vibrating so you have to have some ai based active damping of vibration and protection of overload with what force you have to grip the part so that it will not deform now these are the finesse which have to happen then of course application of industry 4.0 is would be in place now then dies with iiot with active hydraulic pads with hydraulic cams these are things which are not yet existing in india but they are existing elsewhere in the world the problem with these technologies is that there are so many technologies where i'm saying that we are lacking in india but to our agony all these technologies are mastered by chinese so we have a cause to worry on that front and with the atmanirbhar initiatives uh, it is only wise that we venture into these things before it is too late uh, then there are of course uh, special purpose die try out presses and spotting presses where the table table could be tilted so that somebody can grind the die upper die as well as lower die now recently somebody bought such a press in india but even these presses are not existing in india as for application so this is some segment which need to grow then of course inline instrumentation to check the quality of strip sheet strip so sheet thickness variability sheet width variability etc there has to be online instrumentation to check dynamically if something goes wrong on the fly then of course slitting lines are there blanking lines are there but not as many as we would wish and they are not with oem they are elsewhere usually with some supplier now the problem here is that uh, oems have outsourced most of uh, the sheet forming to tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 who do not have the appetite to invest so much in technology as oems would have done now that is the point which is holding us back so uh, instead of purely market angle and economical angle if we think a little bit longer term and invest in these technology that would be in place okay coming to some other technologies sheet cutting and bending of course we do have sheet benders roll bender cnc punch press some of them are locally made but by far they are all imported but what we can develop around it is maybe robotic automation employment of laser safety in, for example in case of press break because in press break somebody can easily lose his fingers while working on it so laser safety for press break integration of punch press with laser cutting for example integration of deburring with cnc punch press then competency development in simulation software usage cad cam usage then things like adaptive bending where the machine will determine the correct angle of bend and it will dynamically adapt and get you the right bend angle irrespective of material property variability material thickness variability and all other factors now these are the development areas which ought to happen coming to spot welding which is a very common area of course use of uh, cad cam to check for fouling as in this case we can see something is fouling here use of servo gun in case of just pneumatic for opening and closing because servo has an advantage that it can monitor the pressure with which it is squeezing the material okay so that it will eliminate all the air gaps in between so that is the where where that's where we can need to develop coming to tube bending tube cutting and tube end forming of course uh, we have have some manufacturers who make some machines but automation process integration integration with tube laser cutting and laser welding uh, would be in place to develop because people elsewhere are developing complete integrated systems using combination of all these technologies then bending with pulling of the tube so that you don't have any wrinkles on the inside that is something which has to be improved then all the tubes if they have a seam there is a feature that people detect the seam and they reorient the tube before bending so that it will lie on the neutral plane all the seam should always lie on neutral plane this is one feature which we don't have on indian machines yet so this is something which i feel is an area for development coming to laser cutting of course uh, use of 5 axis laser cutting can be scaled up there are some machines which are in use of course then there are machines internationally which are combos that is laser with plasma cutting with water jet cutting in one machine depending on sheet thickness and uh, productivity it decides which one to use when now these kind of things we can also have homegrown variants then 
laser machines are using multiple lasers higher powered lasers as my counterpart mr agarwal will elaborate more then beam locus use instead of having a beam which is cutting according to the curve of beam diameter it will jiggle in a way in space so that you have much wider curve so that you get much better quality in the end now this is a new technology which needs to come in india then people have developed machine where the focus can change so you can simultaneously put a thick plate and a thin plate and the machine adjusts the beam mode and focus and it can cut both in a single pass then automation for sorting out the different cut parts so automatically the part gets sorted and collected in respective bins all these kind of things are existing elsewhere and they are not found in india yet coming to tig and mig welding of course use of positioners with robo a robo which will adaptively coordinate with the positioner and have maintain the speed of welding quality of welding then uh, welding is art of inaccuracy so the seam deviates when it is getting heated up so seam tracking feature can be there it has to deskill the operator skill for welding adaptive automation that depending on the site condition it can adapt and adjust itself robo can run the blindly the trajectory but it will not do a good welding because you have to have touch and feel and smell of welding so those kind of adaptations what human beings can do should be done by automation then of course industry 4.0 as applied to welding there is a scope to develop the whole range coming to utensil sector spinning now we are using robo sometimes to do the spinning so you robo has to work in force control mode rather than position control mode and then extensive use of cad and simulation software and also spinning of non circular dishes for example rectangular trough one wants to make with spinning that is possible in china but not yet in india that is something which we have to worry about coming to category 2 we have hot stamping we have fine blanking we have tube hydroforming we have multi stage drip draw with tractrix die and ironing we have roll forming corrugating roof tiling and pipe forming now all these technologies though they are there as applications but not as equipment manufacturing so much now here of course hot stamping is used for higher strength material for automotive sectors and aerospace for structural parts fine blanking is used for thicker material thing like seat belts clutch plates electrical laminations and so on they can also be used to punch the gears rather than making it through machining one can fine blank the straight gears not helical gears but straight gear so things like roller chain things clutch plates cutlery seat belt buckles etc sprocket wheel for bicycles for example now there are not so many machines available in india and competency is still lacking and manufacturing is clearly not there tube hydroforming though there are some companies which have made tube hydroforming process and dies but in general the competency is lacking and there is a need to scale it up now these are used in making sub frame for the vehicle uh, made of tubular material particularly for suvs and pickups the uh, cradles on which engines rest in automotive things like exhaust manifolds and tubes for example then there are in ammunition factory you use some things where you the shell of bullet is deep drawn from a disc you convert it into a cup a very deep cup and that is done in multiple deep draw we are using a kind of die which is called tractrix die and ironing so you extend the length considerably and reduce the diameter now some people are using for example some companies who are into ammunition and they making things like uh, safety products and locks etc they do use some of these things but it has to be scaled up the competency and particularly how many stages you should use to optimize you have to use the simulation software for which the competency is little lacking then roll forming customized roll forming and seam welding equipment is used is used for making pipes corrugated sheets longish beams used for construction and even for making drums etc and cans uh, roll forming is used now there are not many indian machine makers who make these things today talking of hot stamping uh, hot stamping press nobody is making in india hot forming dies also we do not have the competence yet because here we have to worry about heat flow and how fast it can be cooled and how big contact area it can have along with component from both the sides then making of conveyors which have uh, furnaces which have conveyor inside to heat the part to 900 degrees or so for keeping it into the die in hot condition then there are technologies like laser assisted warm forming where maybe the die has a laser inside to soften certain uh, vital areas where there is a problem of tearing so to improve the formability these things could be used then of course hot forming of aluminium and titanium is in competency area which is lacking uh, development of variety of boron steels which could be used for hot forming is another area where development is required 
competency of hot forming simulation software is another thing fine blanking is a technology which has been around since first world war time but we are not using in india in a big way because there are problems of die life and die maintenance it can very well be used as a substitute for making machined parts through forming roots by directly punching it without any further post operation other than probably deburring so it's an attractive proposition but for tool manufacture tool maintenance competency it is not being able to scale up now coming to tube hydroforming uh, competency of using simulation software must improve use can be scaled up significantly we are there somewhere but then there is scope to scale up considerably then design competency with hydroform structure we can design something and make it through hydroforming that is yes we are able to do but unless we are able to design as hydroformed structures we will not be utilizing the positive points to the hill for the technology now design competency is something that has to be improved then about tractex i have already said that uh, simulation software where you can optimize the number of drop stages to convert it into a very deep and thin cup from a disc roll forming and corrugating roof tiling these are not exotic technologies by themselves other than cad cam part for roll forming but equipment has to be made in india so that is something which is not happening as of now coming to the last category that is category 3 which has rubber rubber or oil hydroforming for uh, sheets now this is requiring special kind of fluid cell press and special kind of single dies half dies only now here the production rates are low but you can have exotic parts deep drawn parts which are relatively defective may not be automotive but for racing car since the volumes are not so many one can use it and there is electromagnetic forming which is used for beverage cans now here the manufacturing of coils and equipment is something that we should be doing super plastic forming and diffusion bonding is a technology which is meant for aerospace industry and also for automotive sometimes now this is called hot gas forming here the tool design and equipment design complete we have to do along with the simulation software and all incremental forming this is a technology used for prototyping when you want to make one off part without making dies you do it by pressing with fingers you press the part with finger from both the sides until you squeeze it into the shape that you want this is used for prototyping for one off part without making costly dies the use is has to catch up really in india there is lot of scope but then is not happening okay so there are variations like you can have hot incremental forming you can have water jet incremental forming or with a finger solid finger incremental forming then there is stretch forming this is used for aerospace for belt kind of uh, the sheets which are belting the structure together okay so you pull the sheet and you bend and you form together now stretch bending presses are slightly special i can show you a picture now those kind of presses are not being made in india so for aerospace industry there is a market and obviously for make in india things we should be doing such technology yeah, I mean, flow forming is again a technology used for defense flow forming machines these are uh, defense technology they are used for making rocket shells and alloy wheels multi axis forming uh, you hit the part from multiple directions on a cnc machine these are used for making small car parts of a connector smaller brackets etc nobody is making these machines in india rotary swaging and axial forming uh, these are the machines which enable us to make hollow gears hollow spline shaft hollow drive shaft for electric vehicles so obviously these technologies need to be uh, given an impetus laser welding and laser remote welding are two exotic technologies which need to come again so quickly run through these are the improvement points i have already spoken while talking more or less so flow forming for defense now this is what i was saying this is stretch forming so the press stretches the sheet from both the sides and then you form it at die is located somewhere here near the hinge so these are the technologies where we have to do development on a full scale with this i end my submission thank you thanks for a patient hearing